Hi, in this video, let's see how to develop, create, deploy and manage applications on IBM Cloud. Hey, you have logged into Bluemix and I hope you have had a chance to go through the latest catalog and experiment with it. I am Vidya Sagar Machupalli, Offering Manager for Dev Productivity and I have created many apps on Bluemix. Today I am going to take you through the console to demonstrate how the Bluemix environment is for quick creation, deployment and management of applications in the cloud. Why Bluemix? Use your tools and services of your choice, 130 plus services, scale your applications, help build your hybrid client environment. Once you log into Bluemix and click on your name, you can see your organization and other details. Also you can extend your uh, trial period by clicking on the number of days. We will be navigating to your dashboard by clicking on the hamburger menu on the left. You can uh, toggle the view the way you want. You can see all your applications and services on your dashboard. Once you see your applications, uh, click on catalog to see all the infrastructure, apps and services. This is IAS, PaaS and SaaS offerings from IBM Bluemix. So you have subcategories under infrastructure apps and services. Once you click on hamburger menu, you can navigate to Cloud Foundry apps, containers, OpenWhisk and mobile whenever you want on whichever page you are on. Also on the top, you will see a search box where you can search for any of the services you are aware of. So once I click on Cloud Foundry apps, I can see it's SDK for Node.js, ASP.NET uh, Core, Runtime for Swift, XPages, PHP and Ruby. You can use any cloud. Similarly, uh, containers, you can upload your own uh, Docker image or you have uh, available images there. Similarly, under infrastructure, you have options for compute, storage, network, and security. So, if you are a beginner and you have just completed your trial account, you want to try uh, Bluemix. Boiler plates are one good way to start. You have a boiler plates for different uh, programming languages. Also uh, for things like I, I Internet of Things. Similarly, you have services. Uh, let's explore one of the services, uh, Watson Conversation. This is to build the bots. On all the services, you will have uh, documentation. Click on View Docs. The reason I am walking you through is uh, I want to show how, as a developers, we can you know, start an application or integrate any of the services on Bluemix into your existing application. We provide developer tools which are SDKs. You have Node SDK, Java SDK, Python and even Unity SDK if you are a game developer. You have other services uh, like API Connect if you want to do API creation and API management. You can click on docs on the top left corner any given time which will take you to the documentation page where you can start deploying your first app based on the language, programming language which you are an expert. So if you click on any language you will have uh, code samples. You can just clone it from GitHub. You can run the application locally and prepare to deploy it on IBM Bluemix. Also on search for documentation, I'm just searching for Node.js and once you see the set right, let's pick this starter application. The starter application will have all the information on how to use the starter application. Starting from the catalog and deploying it on the Linux.
Let's give a different search for Node.js samples. We have starting with the sample and this is a decision optimization sample. You can directly deploy it from this page. But let's see how to deploy it from a GitHub page. This is a GitHub repo. We have deployed to Bloomix option here. We'll use the continuous delivery pipeline, which is called the tool chain here. Use continuous delivery to deploy the example instead. So we are on the continuous delivery tool chain where you can think, code, deliver and run. You have multiple tools available here, multiple integrations. I am choosing one of the organizations. And I have GitHub, Web ID and Delivery Python. Also you can clone, fork your repo. I am just clicking on create. So I have for coding I have GitHub and Eclipse and for delivery I have delivery pipeline. You can see the connections and manage. So now when I click on Eclipse Orient Web IDE, I should see my uh, Node.js code there. It's setting up the workspace for you. So just to make sure there is a Node.js application, I am clicking on app.js. Similarly, to publish your uh, application, you need to have a manifest.yml file with all the uh, details. So I will create a configuration. I am choosing the target as uh, US South. So based on that, my org and uh, Space will be deployed, so I'll be deploying it to my R and space is demo. So domain I'll choose a new domain name and click on save. Also you can change the name of uh, your application with the host name. So I'm just changing the name. And once the changes are done, I can just run the deploy the application so you can see that it's deploying so all we are doing this on a, a web IDE yeah it's deployed successfully and uh, running normal so I can stop the app from here, open the deployed app. This is a deployed uh, Node.js application. Also, I can see the app overview. So the app is running, you can view the app. You have the runtime information. You can change the environment variable, add SSH. You can see the connections, logs also monitoring so most of the services have all these uh, required things so that you will be able to monitor your application see the logs so you have one test status you can add multiple tests view all the tests it's available there so i'll navigate to mobile now so now we are building a web application so let's see how to build in mobile application. As a starter you can use mobile dashboard with rebuild templates or if you want to integrate an existing Bluemix mobile service into your application app which we call you can go to catalog click on mobile under apps uh, and each and every service will have a different type. If you see it as IBM it's IBM service you will also have third party services available to try like Filio which is for your voice messaging and VoIP. Let's integrate uh, mobile analytics into one of our apps. So I 
So I'll just view the docs before creating the service. So you can see that you have client SDKs in multiple languages, also REST API available. This is how you integrate into Android or iOS or hybrid application, a Cordova hybrid application. Uh, let's integrate it into an iOS application for now. I'm taking an iOS Swift application, which is an existing app. So the first thing you need to do is open the pod file and add this dependency, which is BMS Analytics. Then click on Add Delegate to Swift. Add all the uh, required code for logging and analytics, sending it to the server. So I'm setting the region as US South as my service is for the US South. I added the API key from Bluemix. So once you run the application and start playing with the application, the analytics will be tracking it. So this is a recommendations app. Uh, using Watson conversation speech to text text to speech. So all this is logged and also the analytics are being sent. I'm asking for restaurant recommendation. These are a bunch of uh, restaurants in Bangalore. So once I go back to dashboard which has all my services and the app which I created and navigate to the mobile analytics service which I created earlier. It was also tracking, logging the details from my application. So I can see the logs by selecting the operating system as we have created an iOS application. It's, it's showing my debug information saying that just logging to test. You can see by time the level. Also you can do this for the Android. Similarly if you have an issue you can raise a support ticket by clicking on support and all the account information is available on that. Uh, thank you very much.